Hey there, I hope you're uh, doing good today. Your table of contents is dividing fractions. Uh, it's going to take one page. Uh, remember, pause, fast forward, rewind anytime that you need to. Here's your title uh, on the page, and we're going to go ahead and start by talking about the word reciprocal. So please get that written, uh, pause it. Get that written and we'll get started. So a reciprocal is uh, it's two values or two numbers uh, or fractions, which are just numbers, whose product is one. Uh, remember, product means to multiply. So it's the answer to a multiplication problem. And the answer to this multiplication problem would always be one. And the easiest one that you can probably think of is one times one. But there are a lot more uh, numbers that we can multiply that equal 1. First off, I want to apologize for my handwriting today. Uh, I can't find my stylus anywhere, so I'm writing with my finger. Uh, so I'm doing the best that I can. All right, so I'm going to write down some examples, get those copied, and we'll talk about them. So if a reciprocal is two numbers or fractions whose product is 1, let's look at the first example. We have 1 third. <laughs> Example number one, one-third. Uh, sorry, let me put that back. You can uh, pause it right now and get that written. All right, so um, let's look at number one. One-third times something has to equal one. So what that means is our final fraction amount has to be uh, the same two numbers. Like, um, you don't have to write this, but like nine over nine. That just means 9 divided by 9, which equals 1, right? Or 4 over 4. That just equals 1. Okay, so we need our answer at the end to be 1. So if we look at that numerator of 1 and denominator of 3, um, and we need our answer to be the same thing on top, the same numerator and the same denominator in our answer, what do you think we could do? Um, three, let's just look at the denominator right now. Three times what might get us a three? Three times one would get us a three. And so if the denominator is three, for it to be one as a, as a simplified whole number, what do we need the top to be? We need it to be 3, which would equal 3 over 3, which would equal 3 divided by 3, which means it's just 1. So the reciprocal is a flipped fraction. It's not a flipped mixed number. It's just a flipped fraction. We go from, sorry about that, we go from this fraction right here, which is just, it's proper. It's just a normal fraction, one-third. And we flip that, and it's now an improper fraction, that they equal one. Okay, so that's all reciprocal is, is taking a fraction and flipping it. Okay, so if we look at uh, the second one, four-fifths, four-fifths, and we just flip that, four-fifths, we put the 5 on top and the 4 on the bottom. What do we end up with when we multiply across? We've already done multiplying. So 4 times 5 is 20. And 5 times 4 is 20. And 20 divided by 20, don't forget this little sign here, it just means to divide. 20 divided by 20 is 1. Okay? So now let's look at number 3. 4 times something has to equal 1. Um, when we think about 4, that means 4 whole things, right? 4 whole things. But it doesn't tell us how many parts it takes to make a whole. When you think about a fraction, the numerator or the top number tells you how many parts you actually have. And then the bottom number or the denominator tells you how many parts it takes to make a whole thing. 
Well, this one doesn't tell us how many parts it takes to make a whole thing. But whatever it is, we have to have four whole things. So we could technically make it just about anything that we wanted to as long as whenever you do the division, right, numerator divided by denominator, that it has to equal 4. Well, what's the easiest number to divide by besides 0, right, because that's 0. But what's the easiest number to divide by? It's just 1. So we can take 4 and put a 1 underneath it. And what's 4 divided by 1? It's just 4. So it's still 4 whole things. Okay? So now we take 4 over 1 and find the reciprocal. There's no finding, really. Okay? It's like just kick it with your shoe and make it flip upside down. So now the 1 is the numerator and the denominator is a 4. And if you multiply straight across, just like we did uh, yesterday or today, whenever you're watching this, you end up with 4 over 4, which equals just one whole. Okay? So, number 4 right here, I have a number 9, whole number of 9. What can we do to that fraction? What can we do to that number, excuse me, just to make it easy and to where it is in fraction form? You could put a 1 over it, under it, whatever. You know what I mean. You can put a 1 underneath it. Technically, you could change it, if you wanted to, to 18 over 2. Because isn't that still just 9? Because 18 divided by 2 is 9. You could, but it's kind of pointless and it would create extra work. Actually, you would have to simplify more later. And I know that's probably the last thing we want to do. So what is the reciprocal of 9? What is the reciprocal of 9 over 1? It's just 1 over 9, and 9 times 1 is 9, and 1 times 9 is 9, because we multiplied straight across, and 9 divided by 9 is just 1. Okay, so we're going to use the reciprocal when dividing. All right, get, the, get this written, what you see on your screen. It says to divide fractions... Instead, we will multiply the reciprocal, okay? We don't create uh, our own reciprocal. It's there for us. We just have to flip, uh, like kick that second fraction uh, so it just goes upside down. Also, go ahead and write these problems. Um, pause it whenever you need to, but, but listen to me. I'm, I'm only making one video now. I'm not making an instruction video and a, um, a homework help video. Instead, it just takes... A long time to uh, not create but to uh, to upload and, and get out there so it's a little difficult so instead all of the examples from now on will come from your assignment that's why the these uh, problems are numbered 1 7 12 and 16 these are coming from your directly from your assignment okay so this is uh, your homework help right here all right so pause it make sure to get all this written and then we'll get started all right, so let's start at uh, we'll start at number one. It is one half divided by negative thirds. I'm only going to show you this one time because I I uh, I don't want you to just uh, know tricks to do stuff. But there is a song. It's it's probably the best math song I ever heard because uh, it has a good rhythm and the guy raps pretty well. I can't think of his name, but it is called um, Keep Change Flip. Uh, I, I even remember the words, keep, change, flip, that's the action. Now everybody knows how we're dividing fractions. Um, this is the only time I'm going I'm to write that. So anytime you have a problem that just has a fraction, a division sign, and a number or a fraction, keep, change, flip works. Okay. What that means is, uh, it just means multiply the reciprocal. Okay. So keep uh, means keep, obviously. So one half. Uh, and the change part means to change it from division to multiplication. And the F part means to uh, means reciprocal, flip, right? So first let's talk about negative 3. Uh, and we talked about it earlier, how to make it uh, just in a fraction form. You just put a 1 underneath it, right? So we don't divide, we multiply the reciprocal or change to multiplication and flip the fraction. Okay, so negative 3 over 1 flipped, 
or the reciprocal of negative 3 over 1 uh, is just negative 1 over 3. Now some of you might be, what, what, no, shouldn't it be a positive? No, we're just flipping the fraction. It's still a negative value, okay? So at this point, we're back to yesterday or this morning or your previous lesson, whenever you did this. It's just multiplying now, right? So we just multiply straight across. Right there, 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 3 is 6. And your answer, because you have a positive and a negative, different faces is negative. So negative one six. Okay, uh, let's go over to number seven. Wow. There we go. So how about we figure out our sign right now so we can get that over with. A negative times a negative, same sign. Uh, answer is positive, sorry. Same sign, negative and a negative gives you a positive answer. So we don't divide, we multiply the reciprocal, we keep one sevenths. We change it to multiplying. Uh, we use the reciprocal, which I'm not even putting the negative on there anymore because we already know our answer is positive. The reciprocal of three fourteenths is just fourteen thirds. And then all we have to do is multiply across. Now some of you may remember, I'm pretty sure I did this in uh, multiplying fractions. You can cross simplify 7 and 14 have something in common, and that is 7. So we would divide by 7, divide by 7. That would be a 1. That would be a 2. If you don't like that, you don't have to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this one out. So 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 thirds. Okay. All right. Let's go to number 12. I have a negative divided by a negative, so that means our answer is positive. We are going to keep that 5 eighths. I'm not going to bring the negative down because I already know my answer is going to be positive. We don't divide. We multiply the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 5 over 16. Just kick that sucker. And it's 16 over 5. I am not going to cross simplify this one. Uh, you can. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick. You can, because 8 and 16 have an 8 in common, so you would divide both by 8. And 5 and 5 obviously have something in common as well. But instead I'm going to do it without cross-simplifying. And we're going to see that we have to simplify a lot at the end. So we have 40 on the bottom, and then 16 times 5 is 30. 7, 8 is 80 over 40. How about that? 80 over 40. <laughs> we don't have to simplify a lot because that just means 80 divided by 40, right? Which that equals 2. Easy money. If you cross simplified, uh, you would have gotten a 1 and a 1, a 1 and a 2, and it would have been 2 over 1. I got about a minute and a half on this video, so I'm going to rock and roll through this one, see if I can get through another explanation real quick. Uh, so now we have 8 divided by 1 fourths. We got to write 8 as a fraction. Just put a 1 underneath it. We don't divide. We multiply the reciprocal. And then we just multiply straight across. The reciprocal of 1 fourth was 4 over 1. 8 times 4. 32, and 1 times 1 is 1, so the answer is 32. So why does the reciprocal work? I got 50 seconds to do this. We're going to split a class in two. There are 24 kids. If we split something uh, in two, that means we're dividing by two. Well, what's 24 divided by two? It's 12. We split it in half. What's the reciprocal of two? As a fraction, it's 2 over 1, right? So the reciprocal would be 1 over 2. And guess what? When you multiply across, it's 24 times 1 is 24. 1 times 2 is 2. And guess what the answer is? 12. So your assignment will be in Schoology. i got 9 seconds left to tell you bye. 
And uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Please use uh, Google or YouTube for any of